Welcome to Sports Tracks. Before we get into today's video, if you haven't already, we do appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our interesting and latest sports videos. Now, let's get right into it. Do you remember this? When Jamaica dominated the sprint at the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo, just as a quick reminder, it was a delayed event. The Olympic Games Tokyo 2020 was actually held in 2021 due to the coronavirus outbreak. Never before had the Olympic Games been postponed or canceled for something other than war, but rarely had the world ever come to a grinding halt the way it had over the novel coronavirus. Now, Jamaica's dominance in the women's 100 meters at the Olympics was absolutely mind-blowing, and Thompson here defended her Olympic 100 meters title in style. It was 1-2-3 for Jamaica. And man, Jamaican women swept the board, with Elaine Thompson here taking gold in a time of 10.61 seconds, then with Shelly and Fraser Price in 10.74 seconds, and with Sherika Jackson in 10.76 seconds, taking the silver and bronze respectively. At that time, Elaine Thompson Hera won her second successive gold medal in an Olympic record time of 10.61 seconds. Thompson Hera broke a 33-year-old Olympic record that belonged to Flo Jo in the process. So yes, it was a new Olympic record, breaking Florence Griffith Joyner's 10.62 mark from the 1988 Olympics. Thompson Hera had blazed across the finish line to cop the second fastest 100 meters time in history. Until this date, Jamaicans and fans around the world are thrilled by the impressive run of these three sprint queens. And just recently, at the Zurich Finals, sprint superstars Shelly and Fraser Price and Sherika Jackson gave us another extraordinary performance, dominating both the 100 meters and the 200 meters race, respectively. Amazing stuff. Now, let us listen to an amazing post-race interview with Elaine, Shelly Ann, and Sherika after the historic 1-2-3 win for Jamaica at the Olympics in Tokyo. It feels good <laughs> um, knowing that we get 1-2-3. I've, I've, I've seen that when I was not an elite athlete watching back home 2009 or 8. eight, eight. <laughs> so for us to repeat that once more. It's a, it's a good feeling to be a part of that history and to be amongst these ladies. It's a wonderful feeling. So I guess I had the honor of being a part of both of those. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I'm just excited for all of us and what it means for the young girls back home like us can know that Jamaica can indeed at the next Olympic Games with Elaine and Sharika again. <laughs> can get one two three and i think it speaks to just the dominance and the legacy that we yeah. have in jamaica and i'm hoping that it continues for years to come yeah. what, what is it how this 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 island producing some of the most dominant olympians we've ever seen 13 of the last 15 medals available over the past five games in the in the women's sprint look at us <laughs> we're here I mean, we're in the right how <laughs> why uh. i mean it's it's awesome i i don't know i think Boy, you know, God has been good to us. We are a blessed, blessed nation. And, you know, to be able to rise to the top of the world again, it, it's years of, you know, other athletes, Merlin Otti, you know, Dion Emmons, and all the other great athletes that we have seen mm. and we continue to, you know, emulate. Like Elaine said, you know, she saw me when she was, you know, younger coming up. And then Sharika, no, seeing us, decided to step down from the 400 <laughs> and come to the 100 and join us. So, you know, remarkable. Yeah. When I played in the NFL, I was not happy when one of my teammates edged me out for a starting spot in the game that week. How, how difficult is the dynamic for uh, being teammates, yet you're also your biggest competitors? What's that like? Um, I think it's I think it's normal to be competitors and understand that we all want to win and we want to go out and we want to run our best race. And I think it's also normal for athletes to have emotions, emotions of disappointment. Not everybody is gonna be readily excited or some persons, even when they win, they're not overly excited because I think for a lot of them, they believe that you know they could maybe have done more, maybe something went wrong, but you know that's what makes sports unique and each individual that comes to the sport that that is what makes us you know unique and makes the the, the, the dynamic of the competition very different and i think it's okay that 
when you look back at the moment, you're still grateful because it could have been worse. You know, True. it could not have been three of us. It could be a, could have been somebody else. And I'm sure the other ladies who were in the semifinals or the heats wish they were in, in the, the finals. finals. <laughs> so you still have to take what you can from it, even in your disappointment. You have to take the good from it. So I don't think there's any hard feeling. It just means that, you know, we all have to go in. I'm sure Elaine goes back and say, well, I'm going to work that much harder to make sure I stay in front. I'm going back to say, oh, well, I'm going back to work. And I think it's good because if you have competitors that con continues to push you, then you're able to get to the target that you set for yourself as well. And honestly, to add to that, I know either if I didn't want or Shelly won or Jackson had one, we three gonna pull each other to the line same way because we are watching each other. So I know we are all seeing each other and we're just going, the three of us actually going. You, you are now those that youngsters are looking to. What's, what's it gonna be like? What, what kind of party is it gonna be when you get back to the island? I don't think there will be a party. I'm gonna be honest, probably there will be a party, but <laughs> <laughs> nobody will know. Nobody will know. It'll be a surprise. What a smashing interview! Without a doubt, Jamaica is truly blessed with some of the world's goats, greatest athletes of all time. Now, after 34 years, Griffith Joyner is still the 100 meters world record holder. Breaking Flo Joe's record would be really spectacular. And I have a feeling that, someday, one of these Jamaican Sprint Queens will do just that. Share your thoughts with us. Which of these Jamaican Sprint Queens do you think is most likely to break Flo Joe's world record 